Oh, this is my world, ladies and gentlemen. Um, basically, um, I built this from Flatland, and it took me nearly a year and 20 days just to build this. And I'm nowhere near completed just yet. So, I'm uh, pleased to say I hope you enjoyed the video and watch what I've actually built. As so soon as I get through this bit, I'm going to guide you through the world. I'll go further up, so I don't hit nothing when that'll do. Now here we go, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to take you to my digital clock. This is the Minecraft countdown clock. All functional, ready up and running. Took five five days, seven nights just to build. Yesterday is it just them digits? Wasn't easy. This will be my day night sensor power station which is powering everything underneath this ground here. There's my fishing area. There is my so called starship boat, but it's not finished yet. Uh, if I can find my Star Trek HQ building, I will gladly show you that. Right, it's been, there's nothing being built there, so that's a good thing at the minute. That's an aircraft for one of my friends built. This is a building which is not being finished yet. Here we go, we are now at my Star Trek HQ building. It's going to take a while for it to load because there's loads of stuff in this world. There is number two docking bay. There's number three, which I can't go any further because I'm at the edge of the map. This is the Starship Enterprise, which I'm going through, which is not finished. Through this is... Oh, someone's destroyed the button, never mind. I'll put the door back. Uh, that's the door, the button there. Hopefully we should go through before the show. Up here is... My room there, Viper HQ. Leader room, do not enter. 
and that's whoever joins my world to hell. There it is, central system light. We already know how that works, because you've just seen it lit on. Right, up here. Oh, you've already, we've already been up there. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's work back downstairs again. Here we go, this is my garden for the Starship Enterprise HQ. Through here leads you straight through to this place which I haven't showed you yet. Basically, yeah, this is the arena which is not, it, it is built but it's not finished. Um, that, that's the automatic lights, what turn on and off turns off in the daytime and switches on at night. I will show you that working shortly. Let's see if the... let's have a look see if it's night time still. Then I'll show you the lights turning off. Yeah, it's still night time. When it comes daylight that will turn off which was not easy to build because it took me seven and a half days just to get to build well let's go into the arena this is where people want to fight this is where they back lay down which as you can see is not finished because i've got the doorways up here which needs the staircases This will be also eventually another lighting system coming into here. A checkered floor. There's a switch. Lighting system's out. Turn it back on. Another lighting system. Yep. There are the villagers. Hello, Mr. Villagers. Yeah, rooms and everything is in there for the villagers and stuff. And through this door leads to. Let's have a look. Let's go down here. Let's have a look what I built. Any ideas you all think I've built? Oh, is a villager? Where does this lead to? Blocked off, okay. Let's have a look why I blocked it off. That's why leads to another place. And up here it leads you into another place. Nah, that's my stairs done. Yeah, this is where I get all my supplies from when I eventually put it in survival mode. Through here Leads to that building which I just showed you. Let's show you all the insides of the lighting system now. Uh, we we'll walk through here. You see the redstone, the redstone repeaters. All this is powered by that lighting system that I showed you. My power station. Eventually, this will lead somewhere. I think this is leading into the house. Yes, it is. The second house, which is not finished yet. There's a waterfall. And big, long stairs. Let's come out of here. This is the airport, which is nowhere near finished. This is a 3D 
Lancaster Bomber. Second World War veteran aircraft. Over here is buildings which is not finished. Now if you're wondering how this clock is made. There it is. This is the Xbox 360 edition clock. That there is the memory banks. These are the switches. So when I activate that. That comes up as a number 8. If I activate this one. It turns up as an A. Yes you can also do lettering on this. But. And that will be demonstrated in my next um, videos if you want to know how to build a clock on Xbox 360. I will show you how to build it. This is my waterfall system linked to a melting side which I just made. Well, made a couple of months ago. All this light is my train station. All this took me a very long time. Here we go. This one of my friends made made this in my world. I just can't remember his game attack. That's the only problem. And now I'm going to take you inside the working clock. I am going to show you, so I'm actually going to block this all off. Here we go, we're going inside the working clock now. Now this is the clock powered by the motors. Every clock has it. That one has it. This one has it. All on a timer. Well, let's come back out of here. I will show you now the lighting system, which I'll be shortly coming to. And I had to break my door, which was not good. Put the door back. This is the night and day sensor, which is my power station, which is powering everything and the street lights and everything. Basically, all this, there it is, you glass there just to power it. to do that close the door there's a clock as you can see well you can't see the lights at the minute never mind that can be showed another day um, I think that, that's about all guys so if you'd like to leave a comment on my video then um, please feel feel free to if you like the video leave a comment if you don't then don't subscribe that's the power lights just gone down so it was nice um, doing this video and I hope you can subscribe so I can make more